So we've reached the end of this section all about entity framework relationships. Well, not all about it, it's only a small part really. But we'll be configuring more relationships as we add more features to our application. And what we've started with here really is the more complex of the types of relationships. So let's take a look at a summary. And so we've configured our relationships. We've also taken a look at data transfer objects and auto mapper, which gives us a way to easily map the properties from our entities to our DTOs. Now we're not going to overuse auto mapper in our application. We'll use it where it makes sense. And sometimes we'll still manually write the mapping code, but only if it's quick and easy to do and it's less effort than creating a mapping profile to do so. And we also looked at two different ways of loading related data. Now, eager loading has always been available in Entity Framework Core, but lazy loading is a fairly recent addition since Entity Framework 2.1. And we'll be taking advantage of this for all of the related data in our application because it means writing less code. And what we're gonna take a look at next is the client side attendance feature. Everything that we've implemented just now on our API, we're now gonna implement on our clients. And we're gonna take a look at that next.